everyone welcome to our channel code chef i am kusum lata bhat and today we are going to solve the problem find next from code chef platform which is of cake work difficulty level and for this you need a prerequisite of maths and ap so let's understand the problem statement first we are given with three integers l m and n where l and m are randomly picked consecutive integers in an unknown ap and you need to find the nth term after m in ap so what does this term ap suggest here so ap is simply a sequence let's say a1 a2 a3 a4 to an in which every adjacent pair have a same difference so we are given with three integers l m and n where l and m are consecutive integers and they are known to be in ap now we have to simply find the nth term which will be occurring after m let's see we have l equal to 1 and m equal to 4 and we have to find some n equal to 4th that is fourth term after the variable m so for this condition we will have an ap as the difference m minus l because these two terms are in ap so we can say that here difference is 4 minus 1 equal to 3 So for this we can generate an AP sequence which is starting with four. Let's say four, and then we will be have four plus three seven. Then we will have seven plus three ten. Then we will have ten plus three thirteen. Then we will have, then we will have thirteen plus three sixteen. Then we will have sixteen plus three nineteen, and so on. Now what we have to actually find we have to find the nth term which is occurring after four. So we have to find the fourth term which is occurring after four. So here the first term is seven, second term is ten, third term is thirteen, and fourth term is sixteen. So the answer for these values is going to be sixteen. So let's see how we can solve this problem. So for a given AP, A one, A two, A three, A four, A five with a common difference D. This common difference is actually the difference between every adjacent pair of element, which is same for all, and we define it as common difference D. So by using this d and a one only, we can find every term of this AP. Now how we know that a two minus a one equal to d. So we can say that a two equal to a one plus d. Now similarly, we know that a three minus a two also equals to d. So we can say that a three is equal to a two plus d. And we can replace a two as a one plus d. Again, a four minus a three equal to d. Then a four can be written as a three plus d, and we can write a three in terms of a one by previous equation a three equal to a one plus two d. So we can replace a three by this value. So we will have a one plus three d. So we can derive a formula from here, which is a i equal to a one plus i minus one d, and we can find any general term of an a p if we know its first term and the common difference d. Now what we needed to find, we have to find the nth term which will be occurring after m. So for this, we can say like we have a1, a2, a3, and some an, an plus one, an plus two sequence, in which we have to find this an plus one sequence where a1 will equal to m. So for this, we can say that we are going to have its formula as m plus n plus one minus one into d here. So we are going to have simply m plus n into d for a n plus one term. Now why a n plus one term? Because we had to find the n th term which is occurring after m. That is, we didn't have to consider this m here. We need to find the n th term which is occurring after m here. So now how we are going to calculate this d? So we are already given that l and m are in a p. so we can use this fact here and we can find the common difference d from here as d equal to m minus l so our two formulas are of major use here which is d equal to m minus l and then what we have to use we have to use the general formula of calculating the i th term of ap which is this so here we need to find the an plus 1 term so we can find it as m plus We can replace i value by n plus one minus one, and d value is simply m minus l. So our answer is simply m plus n into m minus l, or we can write it as m plus n into 
D, where D is simply our M minus L. So let's apply this formula in the given test case. So here L is 27, M is 33 and N is 4. So D here equal to M minus L that is 33 minus 27 which is equal to 6 here. And now we can use this formula A of N plus 1 equal to M plus N into D. M plus N into D is going to be our answer simply which is calculated as 33 plus 4 into 6 that is 33 plus 24 here which is equal to 57 and which is exact same as our sample output. So let's see how we can implement this solution. So what we have to first do, we have to first take the input of t test cases and then for each test case we have to take the input of L, M and N value and then we have to find the common difference M minus L and then we have to simply find the answer as M plus N into D and then we have to simply print this answer. So the time complexity for every test case will be O of 1 because we are using the constant number of operations here and same for the space complexity since we are using the constant number of variables here so we are going to have O of 1 space complexity. So now let's see the C++ code. So here we are taking the number of test cases and then for every test case we are taking the input of L, M and N value and then we are calculating the common difference as M minus L and then we are simply calculating the answer as M plus D into N and we are simply printing it to the screen. So let's have a look on the Python code. So here again we are taking the T as input and then for every test case we are again taking the input of L, M and N value and then we are taking the D value as M minus L and then we are calculating the answer as M plus N into D and then we are simply printing it. So that's it for the video guys. Thanks for watching.